you so much, uh, Sangeet Sittim, for agreeing to come to my uh, small little talk show. La. I have had quite a few of your fans asking me to get you. Uh, but the problem was, uh, like, because, you know, uh, you're a bodybuilder and you are like a, a Bollywood actor. So I was very nervous, actually. <laughs> I, I, I'm somehow kind of scared of you. <laughs> don't mind. I don't... <laughs> I shouldn't mind, but then, uh, to be very honest, uh, Pema, you and me, we know each other. I know your husband. I know your in-laws, you know, very close to them. Uh, yes. Your brother-in-law, Mickey and me, we grew up together. Maybe because we didn't have much, much conversation. Uh, maybe because of that, like any other strangers for me, you know, uh, they have that notion that... Uh, and with because of my this intimidating look, it's very very confusing look actually. I'm not the person that the the face uh, portrays me as. <laughs> that's know? exactly. So deep deep, deep inside. No, no, the deep person that's inside. Deep inside, you. yes, deep inside. I'm a very emotional, and then you know, uh, my friends know me very well, like those who are like you know are close to me, so they know me very well, and I always get that uh, same kind of. Uh, uh comments from other people also who do not know me that in the beginning they find me very serious very intimidating look like a, pe a guy with a lot of attitude you know and they tend to hesitate to open up with me and to talk to me so that is actually you know don't judge the book by its cover so last last yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so uh, let's get to know uh, the Sanju that a lot of people don't know Mola than today. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> is, oh, sorry, did I just call you Sanju? <laughs> because everybody calls you Sanju. No, you're close. Uh, so, to... so that that's the that's the charm of it because most of them know me as Sangit Siltrim, but a lot of them, probably eighty to ninety percent of them, they do not know the the like Sanju. You know, they know Sangit Siltrim. They, they don't know the story behind Sanju. So it's good that you called me Sanju right now because all my uh, childhood friends, my relatives, my family, they all call me Sanju. And there's a reason why I'm called Sanju also, you know, which we will come later. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. So, um, Datuna, Zimi Disugi, Dinam, Sangit Sitim, Sim, Ngomashimi, Digae, Mido, Mola, but still, can I ask you to, you know, kind of, Atisina, introduction, Chizumbela? Like introduction, okay. I think I'll speak in Zonka, Dubga. I prefer oh, speaking in Zonka because a lot of viewers will be, you know, will be preferring, I think, Zonka. So, ni me di sangit siltrim se labi, te ma ba lalugi kendo, lalugi mi kendo. Te ang rahe ma chungku ga lo te ma kesa bom sa di pinsuling be, te ma charo kaira jagai charo di sube. The concept of being a lo sange se puma sub the sange le sange jo sange le sanju se the ni mi the sanju se the chungu ga kara ge sanju se pui the hema na bogi la lui kendo the ga hema army officer the suma mi na chajui gebi ko suma mi na chajui the le ngara zugi ani zudob the endun na lo na mi same the the toa the tande bo mi ni digi the ngara the ma mi na le gumshu be the zudob the endur Chigia Habna Lo Chamato, the Tama Segitama, the New Gitama, the Suege, the Langacherana Dugia Habna Lo, the Mr. Butangi competition, the Nikong Chubdilo, the Mr. Butangi title there, Gay, the Nikong Chubdilo, the Nagi, World Championship Nalo, Top Five Natsube, the Anale de la Naregi, Career Gi Transition, the Bodybuilding Nale, the Acting Nalo, in Session B, the two thousand eighteen Nalo, a debut movie singer. Then after that, uh, uh, Bollywood Nalu Rade movie, Salman Khan da chiga. Then after that, couple of movies, so tato anim chibe lue se shun Yes. That is my brief introduction. Last. I hope I covered. Uh, you've covered quite a bit la. Last. <laughs> How was, uh, can, can we know something from your, uh, a story from your childhood la, like your favorite childhood memory or, you know, a memory that you don't really, you know, uh, prefer thinking of mm. as a child. 
there isn't any memories that I won't want to think of. In fact, my memory, uh, my childhood days was great fun. I was very uh, energetic, a sporty guy. You know, I used to play a lot of games, and uh, and uh, very very inquisitive, perplexed. You know, because uh, confused also those days because like used to admire uh, elders with good physique. <clears throat> used to admire famous people. You know, those days I grew up in Finsuling and uh, grew up watching Bollywood movies, you know, and uh, we've seen like a lot of famous people those days and always wanted to be like them. But then slowly, slowly when I grew up, I wanted to, you know, uh, like instead of wanting to become like them, I wanted to improve in myself and then uh, work on myself and then try and every day try and be a better person. So my childhood days was uh, great and then it was great fun. And when I look back, when I think about it, it was a, like a, like a great, a great adventure type of uh, childhood memories. Very, very nice. If, I, very if, I, if, I, if I if I keep if I keep like uh, if I keep like if I start speaking detail in detail, then I think uh, one hour or two hour will not be enough. So I just wanted to summarize it. And then if you have any specific like questions, the then you can put it up. Yeah. Last, last. But that's so I used to be. I used to love. I used to. I used to love dancing also. And I used to be a good dancer yeah, before. Unfortunately, it's been quite some time. I haven't danced, and then now it's so difficult for me to pick up these steps. You know, new steps. And uh, after, yes, yes. Like, <laughs> after becoming huge, you know, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, the flexibility and all. Uh, still, like yeah. uh, it's, it's like tough for me to you know uh, dance gracefully. But before my friends know, my childhood friends know that uh, I used to be a very good dancer. And then in YHS in class 11, 12, I danced Michael Jackson, Gee Smooth Criminal. And my friends used to call me MJ those days. And even in Ooh. NDA, I used to be Academy Gee uh, Pan Party Celebi Entertainment Team, where we used to go to Pune and then compete with uh, 100 plus colleges of Maharashtra State. And we used to do very well. So yeah, so till NDA, I think, uh, after India, I stopped dancing because after that yes. I was an officer and uh, I didn't feel it is proper to be dancing as an officer. So then it had a long gap. So right now, these days, I do yes. try and put some TikTok dance videos. But then, like I yes. said, it's very difficult now. A long gap, can't catch up the steps. Somebody, If somebody choreographs me, then I'll definitely be able to uh, dance well. Yeah. Last, last, last. But uh, coming back to like, you know, your all your very like uh, the nice childhood like that you have had. Uh, I think you're very lucky that uh, you could you know like you you had mm -hmm. that like, because uh, I've noticed these days most of us, especially like Ngachiki generation Nalu, we haven't really had the best, uh, best uh, childhood, I would say. Like especially with parents breaking up or, you know, getting into substance abuse. Well, uh, even my parents got divorced when I was in seventh grade. Okay. And uh, I used to live in Finsuling, so substance and all are very common those days. But I didn't get hooked up with that. But of course, I experienced everything because they got Finsuling, the border gate, and they got Finsuling, and they got so nali di komte ane kong ko pochi dele ngache jagongli dele pa gachi lo medical shops this in kara open tiga uh fancy del lo corex lo you know and then lo relapin lo everything was available it was like you know not much of like i'm so strict jamie tiga and then being a localite in finsuling all those things i did experience but then luckily i never got hooked up and uh like i said Childhood days was not like great, like wonderful, you know, like you think. Of course, we all go through, you know, ups and downs in life. And then, like I said, in seventh grade, my parents got divorced and then I was heartbroken for once. But then I think uh, what helped me was uh, I got this opportunity to go around uh, the country when I was a kid. Uh, my father is Parop Mush, Apadi Parole. Mm -hmm. I did shop, then I ran my finishing the bomb. So I never did like diverse uh, places. This is not like Nepali. I thought some people catch up go watch in Nepali. I did pizza with jobs. Charu got a lot. I mean, thought some people do. Jaga I catch up go watch in Jaga. I did pizza with jobs. 
Porubi Kajaboji, Porubi Chapsu, Chapsu, Mush, Lizimbe, Porubian Chube. The Shachu Kajaboja, Shachu Bindi, Shachu, Lizimbe. So, because of all those Delenga Chungu class two, the Jena de Galu, the Tiga Gekabna Lutab Madute, anti national problem Chitembe, then Yigi parents the swing and a Porulu, ship between the grandparents the swing. I think that uh, particular uh, thing year was a game changer for me. Because from the Katevese Labro, Finsuling the town in Bade, Gawat in Madura City, the Poro di Sudi, the Ube Baby, and the little backward, no. But then yes. suddenly my town Nalena, you call grandparents to Sudi Jiga, Ja, Pesha Nata, Bodolo. Then I could experience this village life like, with my grandparents, my Jojo, yes. Ange, the Sule, you know, they got fun to Badala, village, the fun near Soso. They got a little potiller, tractor, potiller, tan, telea, serina, say, apple gi, yalu, joe, apple gi, bagana joe, pale, you know, she in the zoo too, tele, any, uh, yukalu, machibojin, uh, kajilo, uh, tonhugi, dama, and in the zoo, jam, the zoo garina, tractor, the potiller, and so, na baum, tele angegi, um jo, pagi um jo, tele um su, tinale, um gi tau da, you know. Magi, Masi, and this is Jin. So, a lot of experiences, village, give wonderful experiences that I got. And then, because of all those, it also mentally made me very tough being in the village. You know, uh, life was different uh, seeing in town and seeing in the village. Katebe Celebro, my Finsulin look out of the concrete bear. Upper the Ilugarichi TV, this video, this Tanya. Now, you call Mugale Kajemindu. You know, they got nothing backward. Mm -hmm. It was like. It is, can you imagine? So obviously it will be backward, right? But uh, I think uh, sending me here with my grandparents, uh, uh, I think that was a game changer in my life because later on when I had to go to NDA, I didn't have that attachment with my family, the parents, this week. Any attachment you remember? No, yes, 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 yes. So I didn't So I didn't suffer much in NDA. I was mentally very tough, physically also very tough, you know? So that really helped me. Uh, even now, right now, as, a, as an actor, I think uh, NDA, because of NDA, you know, it ha it helps me a lot right now, you know, uh, being in Bollywood. Mm -hmm. And the, all these childhood days and uh, being born in Finsuling, these all help me right now to be what I am at present. Yes, yes, yes. So interesting. La. So, Mola, uh, what made you get into films, uh, movie now? Movies na zini ki kachi like because rangi interest ki bedi na or what offers or kada bida la. Interest di ma ba chungu galera like I said ma finsuling bombom be winter vacation tapura ma finsuling jo the Bollywood the chiga nam seme you know we are so attached to Bollywood those days. Tiga na chie Norge Hall lo Meek Hall lo chie cinema la. So tina lo tapura Bollywood ki movies the mila. They grew up watching Salman Khan's movie, Shah Rukh Khan's movie, and always wanted to be like them, like you, you know, after some time you fantasize and then, you know, you actually want to be like them. And then you act, uh, also uh, try, tend to like walk like them, speak like them. Chungkukara, admire the baby, you know, so interesting how much Chungkukara is there, but then mommy and Zui, obviously all those uh, goals, ambitions, everything went off because once you're in the army, you only have one goal, one focus, right, to serve your country. But then later on, after I resigned, I wanted to uh, get a medal for my country. <clears throat> That's why I resigned. And then medal is kind of hopes of five years of professional bodybuilding. But then I wanted to do something different. And the, my friends, my friends, close friends, they all came forward and then they told me that I should do a movie. Because they said, like, Nache Bhutan Nalo, yeah. Romantic movies, Lashadu, they were the action movie, and I'm the whistle up there. And then they said, like, I fit into that character, you know, of doing an action movie. So that's how they approached me, my friends and all encouraged me, and I just wanted to test myself. Rangi test, my boy, how many go over there? You visualize, oh, I'm not going to be a person, I'm not going to But then, I'm not going to be a Samaza don't look up, Bema Bishil to sell up the Zumbe, the Ina Mena, sorry, Ina Mena Tauda She, Doji Dolo Chanda She, sell up the Zumbe, then I had to try once to test myself whether I'm capable or not. So I tried, I did my first movie singer, I tried that, and then 2018, I released it. Luckily, like I'm saying, I'm very blessed, you know, 
I'm very lucky. I'm very fortunate guy. And then I got into Bollywood and I met Salman Khan and that's where he gave me the first break. And now I get a lot of offers because of that movie. And then second movie was Jawan with Shah Rukh Khan. So two of them really uh, gave a lot of push to my career in uh, acting. So yeah, that's how I landed. Now you luck say, now you luck say that also never demola. You are saying you're mentioning luck, no? Because of your luck, you met Salman Khan. Yes, la. But can we can we can we go into the detail of how you actually met Salman Khan? La? Uh, see, nothing was planned. That's why I call it luck. You know, Rana Rasiki. Yeah. Stars align in Bermuda. Yeah. So what what happened was, um, I think it was destiny. I never planned to meet Salman Khan. Never even thought that I would meet him because why will I meet Salman Khan? Because I'm not gonna go forward to meet Salman. Honestly speaking, I love him, but then I will not go make an effort to go and meet him. See, but uh, fortunately, what happened was I went to meet my friend Haider who's the director, right? Who's the director of my movie, Lincoln. So Haider and me were very close. So I went to meet Haider to discuss a project in Mumbai. So Haider happened to be very close to Salman sir. So I went to meet Haider and then just like that, Haider told me that that day Salman sir was shooting in uh, Flim City. He was doing his Dabang 3 movie. And he said, let's go and meet him. He's going there, Lord. So I was quite zapped mm -hmm. and I was shocked. And then I thought, like, can we really meet him? I said, yeah, of course, he said. Even if you can't meet him, you can see him, he said. So I was, like, quite fascinated and then quite excited. And we went like that. And then fortunately, that day, that uh, sorry, evening, nobody came to meet Salman, sir. Otherwise, he's packed and busy, you know, during his break uh, from the shots. He comes to his tent and the people lining lined up there waiting there for him to you know discuss some business or discuss movies or you know his close friends they all come to meet him there in his tent you know so that night we are so lucky nobody was there so i either went and approached to him saying that i've got a friend from bhutan wants to meet you so he said please call him so that's where i came uh, went to meet him inside his tent and he was very nice and we clicked very well and that's where like i am right now because of all those Stars aligned, I think. Yeah, that's why yes. I call my. I think I consider myself very lucky. Yes. And then, us, and then, so aside. after he met you, then he the another chica chebe. I'm asking Mula. After he met you that day, then did it occur to him that uh, you should be in one of his movies, lah? So what happened was I met met him that day, uh, that night, and then we did not discuss anything about movie. And then we just had like our own conversation about bodybuilding, about my army life and, you know, about our country. I was just praising him about our own country, like trying to, you know, boost like how great our country is, His Majesty the King, how great he is. We consider him like our God and he looks after us. So we are just talking about my country and then, you know, our country. And then, uh, and then I spoke to him about me being in NDA and we discussed something about bodybuilding, you know. So, Anizum conversation day, about an hour or so. So, that's it. And we took a picture and I came back more. I was very happy, posted the picture also. And what happened was after two months, I think someone went there uh, to him with a script, a director. Okay. So, this is very interesting. Actually, my first offer was not Rade, not with him. So, director went with a script because I think his brother-in-law, Ayush Sharma, was supposed to act in that movie. The name of the movie was Kwata, and Kwata is in Manipur, and the main villain of the movie is supposed to be a Manipuri. So the moment he saw the script, he told the director, I got your villain. So he remembered me. You know? And and he couldn't he couldn't get yes. my name. He forgot who I came with. Oh <laughs> so he goodness. was asking his asking his uh, secretaries and his guys, you know. Who is that Bhutani actor, bodybuilder who came to meet me? Who did he come with? And nobody could remember. And luckily one guy, there's a guy called uh, Khali. He's like a Khali, huge guy. He remembers, he said like, Haider ke saad aya tha, you know? So he came with Haider Salabbe. Tikti then, Haider got a uh, call from Salman sir and told uh, uh, Haider to, you know, pass my number. And then Salman sir gave it to Mukesh Chabra's casting company. And uh, from there, somebody called me. But Haider already told me that Salman sir was asking about you and he took your number. Probably you must, uh, you might be getting a role. So I was so happy, couldn't believe Sorry. my ears. And then, 
And then I was doing a construction that time, the Togi White House, and then our gym, no? So I was constructing that building. So I was there in the construction site, and then Haider gave me that news, and then Lengagi and Mugeshabri Pale team, no, the Chi Titi call on there. So, hello, is yes. it Sangi sir? Yes, it's Sangi sir. Then he was asking me, uh, so we, uh, Salman sir has recommended uh, us to put you in a movie to give you a very major character. Do you have any manager who we can speak to? So I said, we, I don't have any manager who can talk to me. <laughs> so that's how like he uh, uh, spoke to me about the movie, gave me a brief, brief, uh, uh narrative of the movie and then told me when i can come to india mumbai you know to sign the contract so I so after that then so after that then uh, uh i went to mumbai i met the director i met ayush you know and i even met that actress uh, who's who was like uh, uh karina hello katrina kf sister isabel kf two of them are supposed to, uh, she was supposed to debut in the movie I signed the contract and then I straight away went to Salman sir to thank him and uh, the moment he saw me, he shook my hand and he gave me a hug and said, uh, Sange, welcome to Bollywood. <laughs> so, 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 wow. so that was my entry. And then, and then I came back, the movie was supposed to be shot in uh, November or December, I think. So, and that was around uh, July or August when I went there and signed the contract and I came back. I started preparing. I was quite fat that time. Uh, I was quite fat. Yes. I was uh, about like 97, 98 kgs. You know, I kept a ponytail. So I cut my hair, started working out, you know, seriously. And I started doing cutting and then get all my packs back. And take tea after one month, uh, Haider again messaged me. He said like, you know, again, Salman sir is asking, uh, uh, Salman says there's one guy called Alok Upadhyay. He's a scriptwriter. So he's asking my number, hello. I think this time he's going to put you in his own movie, hello, hello. So then yes. I, he gave me Alok's number and I messaged Alok and I asked him, you know, either told me to contact you. Yes, yes, brother. Uh, there is a movie called Rade, Salman Sir's movie. And Sir told to put yes. you as one of the villains. So when can you come and meet the director? And the director is Prabhu Devar, So I said, whenever you want i said then immediately after a week i went i met prabhu sir i uh, got the script and then i met salman sir that time and salman sir took me around a set of big boss and film city i spent about wow. uh, six to seven hours with him that day yeah i took some things he with me that that day you know some things oh. you know, yeah so mm -hmm. he also got to meet salman sir and spend time with him and he was very nice and very kind to me so that's how i got uh, rade uh, later on rade started first in november and then uh Kwata got shelved you know the movie that oh, i was supposed okay. to do yes. so that got yeah. shelved yeah. and then because i think they had some problem between poor producers so that movie got shelved and then and then i got to do rade which was a bigger movie luckily you know so yeah so yeah. that's the thing how i got into bollywood wow plus how was how was Is your that... experience like acting with the bollywood now acting with the life? i mean like every uh experience is like whatever you know whatever i do day-to-day -day life is new experience mush but then bollywood key there's a different feel different charm because in the beginning i was quite scared also you know very like uh, inconfident uh nervous at home but then after some time one or two shots after that you just feel okay you know and then uh, everything is different and then every day you learn and then yeah the experience was great i mean like they have a different kind of system and uh, compared to bhutan the industry you know there's like huge industry huge budget and uh, we get uh, me as a major cast we get business class air ticket and uh, we get a five star hotel and uh, we get one assistant personal assistant who gets paid by them we get one makeup artist who like gets paid by them we get one car and one driver you know and one good vanity van where we can relax and then chill during the shoot. So, so the experience was great. Yeah, it was like, uh, it's a lavish type. Eh? Yes, a little inappropriate, but then I'm sure you got paid quite a lot, Mula. 
Uh, usually, like, uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, say this much of that because these are all confidential and we sign NDA also. We are never mm-hmm. supposed to speak. But then we get very good amount of payment. As a major cast, we get paid per day, you know, when we are shooting. Mm-hmm. It's not a lump sum because it's a per day yeah? because I always uh, that's where my I got the first advice was to charge per day. Right? So number of days the TDG yes. we get paid like, get paid very well, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, well, congratulations, la. Thank you. And how did how did the how did Jawan happen, la? Because we were stunned la, by your acting, by the movie. Jawan, Jawan also like uh, after Radhe Mula, Radhe released in 20, 2021, right? And then I wanted to do my movie Link Pen, you know? So I was doing casting and the script uh, was almost ready and uh, I was just doing casting that time. And that was also around August, I guess. Yeah, it was around August. So what happened was, so we wanted to shoot by November. So I had all my cast key. Then suddenly I got a call from Mukesh Chabra's casting company. So they told me that there's an offer. Uh, well, no, uh, we are looking for a role uh, in the Red Chili Ski production. And uh, Shah Rukh Sir is the lead actor. And it is his own production. So are you available to there? So I said, when is it? So he said, September. So I told him that... Uh, I have my own movie, you know, so which is starting in October. So I said, I may not be able to do stuff to, <laughs> to very honestly speak. Yeah. Because I was like, I thought like the role must be a small role. And then, you know, so it's okay. So you yes. no problem. We will contact you for next project. It's okay, sir. I said, okay, sorry. After two days, uh, I got an Instagram message from one of the direction team. His name is Arav, yeah. I know now, now his name is Arav, so he's an AD Mo. So he messaged me on Instagram and he said, Sir, did Mukesh Chabra contact you? Sell up the company, contact you. So I said, Yes, of course they did. And I told them that I'm not available because I'm doing my own movie. So the coil up there, Sir, why, why, why are you doing like this? Sir? This is a big opportunity. You know, your role is very crucial and it's always Shahrukh, sir. Don't miss this opportunity. Why don't you try once? Just see his love there, you know. And the director really wants you, lo. Mm-hmm. So he actually. Then I also realized later on why. Mm-hmm. Seriously, because that time I was like so into Lingpen, you know. I really wanted to give all out to Lingpen that I was like, Kachipeni said no. But then later on I gave a second thought and I said okay. Then I said let me give you a screen test sell up there. Send me the script. So screen test, Jim G, the director is saying like, please come, lo. negotiate Then I decided I'll do it. They said like May they a zone, It was in September, starting in September, May a zone, So sell up there. Then I invited everybody for dinner, all my cast crew, you know, because LinkedIn was supposed to be shot soon. So I didn't know how to do. So I invited yeah. all of them for a dinner. And then I told them, please don't mind, but we have to postpone our shoot. We have to go to Mumbai. Mm-hmm. I got a thing, good opportunity, a good role, good offer. So please don't mind. Then I went to Mumbai and that's how like we started shooting for Jawan. Yes. But your role is, I think, one of the main roles in the movie. Yeah, because I think it's a very, it's a, it's a very short, but then I didn't, I don't have big screen time but the role was very very crucial you know it's like the main guy guy who is like who meets the older Shahrukh Khan and also the younger Shahrukh Khan so I'm the bridge between the father and the son so I think I uh, actually break the suspense in the movie yeah I break the suspense in the movie and so so the role was very nice and then yeah so good that I changed my mind and then gave a second thought (laughs) Wow. Congratulations, yeah. my God. Do you do you feel you, do you feel like uh uh Nachi so so actors this do you think like uh Anzum Tabdonga Bollywood Nalu? What do you feel? I don't know because uh, see everyone is talented, Mola. They are so hard working. I'm not talented at all, honestly speaking, and then I'm not hard working at all. 
I work hard in different fields. Like in bodybuilding, you know, I work really hard. But when it comes to acting, I'm not a good actor. I'm not talented. There's so many talented, hardworking, determined actors in Bhutan, actresses in Bhutan, you know. So I think uh, it's all about the luck. Uh, nothing to do with uh, whether they can or cannot. For me also, it was all luck. Because, see, uh, to be very honest, uh, Indian gay population is about 1.4 billion more. Is 1.4 billion, and uh, they have the whole northeast region, you know, who has similar face like us, the oriental face, the whole northeast region, Sikkim, even a lot of Nepalese, you know. So, Najizum, the last of the world, and then Konegi side, and then Najizum, that's the sideline, be on my work, and I'm saying focus, me, Jimmy, but I'm going to touch up So, I'm going to be on the chat, and I'm going to penetrate, be on the chat, and I'm going so, it's not impossible. Like I said, everyone is talented and very hardworking. I'm 100% sure that they might get some normal. If I can, why can't they? Now that you've worked yes. in, Bollywood, in Bollywood and uh, when you come back to Bhutan Mula, uh Bhutanese movie why why isn't our Bhutanese film industry doing that great why do you think like because now you have that exposure mola Bhutanese film industry is not doing well because uh, we do not have good market it's very simple not just industry Bhutanese film industry a lot of other businesses are not running even my gym the gyms around Bhutan the restaurants you know yeah. So they are not doing well because of the markets. It's very simple. And also, I think the another uh, factor is uh, which is hampering is uh, uh, the digital market. See, people yeah. like to spend money, spend data and watch TikTok, right? But the same people will not go and watch movies because yeah. now digital market is uh, dominating the theoretical market so that is the real reason and also because when there is no market we can't produce uh, a good quality movie and it's yes. like going like by the by you know like the bad market and the quality is also dropping because we have to invest a lot of money to make a good quality and a standard movie now you know and but the problem is like uh, the market is bad, so people, producers, they don't want to invest more money. And I do. The, I did the calculation also recently. So even my LinkedIn did very well in theaters in Australia. But then when I was checking the box office collection, it is very less, you know. So, so I'm wondering about other movies also. Yes. If you want to make money from theater, it has to run continuous houseful weekdays and weekends for at least two months. So I did the maths. Oh, yes. So if you are continuously like for two months, if it is not household, just being houseful in the weekend, you are not even getting about 15 to 20 lakhs. So all the movies so it's not a good thing that in yeah so it's so all the movies bragging saying that is super hit super hit actually is not actually making money to be very honest because i did the maths you know yeah so so the industry yes, is so even my husband not, 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 yeah. yeah it didn't it didn't do well. well i mean the movie is good people like it there was See, a see movies are all good uh -huh. see, movies are all good the storyline is good People, those who are watching are enjoying, but we don't have the markets. What to do? We don't have less population. Look mm -hmm. at Nepal. Nepal has a four crore people, you know, four crore people. Nepal. Mm -hmm. We say 2.9 million, but then uh, actually, if you check on ground, uh, overall, they have got about four crore people. And then ours is just 700,000. And from 700,000, we all know how many of them have left the country. And then, you know, Australia is giving some uh, push to us to the you know uh, movie industry but that is not enough see if i'm investing 50 lakhs okay yeah. i have to make 50 lakhs more right so my box yeah. office collection has to be one cr yeah. no chance i might get like if my movie does very well i might get 50 lakhs plus 
10 or 15 lakhs more. But that is not doing well. See, just average. In better, in better. So the, the, the problem and the thing is right now is the market, to be very honest, and the digital uh, movies like the also these digital platforms like uh, our TikTok and YouTube and OTTs. And these are also like the factors people are not going to. There's a theater going culture and cinema going culture. I need to die down to that. Do you see any potential like, uh, you know, uh from any other movie makers from bhutan to make it to you know like uh, all these uh, international award uh give uh, award uh, festivals la? see festival is festival is different you have to make a different kind of movie right and there are a lot of movies like who's doing well in festivals like our yeah. uh, lunana the yak in the classroom and also our uh bhattacharya lavimo arun bhattacharya what's his name so i forgot yeah. his name sorry so he also got into that, uh, uh, you know, uh, I forgot the award name also, Sand, Sand, um, you know, so, so these are like, they are doing well, but the, their movie is different. So it's only for uh, awards, you know, it's not masala yeah. movie. So if you want to make money, if you want to make money, like you have to make entertainment kind of movie and less of art movie, right? Now, if you make an art movie, it does not do well in the, uh, award uh, shows also like you know and then it will not do well here also in the country so what's the point you know mm -hmm. there are two kind of movies one is commercial and one is art so art yeah, yeah, what's mostly, mostly you send for festivals right but then this is the thing but there are yeah. a lot of people actually bhutan is a good subject right bhutan itself is a good subject yeah. <clears throat> and we have got a lot of good movie makers and if you need if you mm -hmm. know how to sell bhutan you know in a good way then you can definitely win a lot of awards so but uh, our genre is different my genre is to make entertainment masala movies and not for awards so that's the difference and like i said like you are you're asking me the capable a lot of capable people who can actually do that and go into awards yeah, and festivals yeah so as as a as a producer as an actor uh you prefer like entertainment like movies that are entertaining and you yes it's for me yeah, yeah yeah for me it's of course like for example Shah Rukh khan and salman khan and all they they make masala entertainment movies right how many of them went to oscars you tell me from india they don't because the oscar movies are like documentary type of movie art movie very slow movie movie with content you know movie with subject you know so these are the kind of movies. i'm not interested in doing that because uh, that's not my genre see I am I am into actions. I'm into masalas. So I like to entertain people with these kind of. Of course, uh, we all have different goals in life, ambitions in life, and there are some people their dream is to win Oscars. You know, yeah. so for them the the big opportunity for them than us actually because they know yeah. the subject and they make good quality movies and Bhutan now already very popular in the world, right? So they have got good opportunities. Yes. Yes. Okay. So then, um, how was your? How was your? I'm so sorry, but I can't stop going back to Bollywood, like, because I'm such a Bollywood fan. <laughs> how was your experience with Mr. Shah Rukh Khan? Now? With Shah Rukh Khan, it was most more, more of professional, like uh, yes. work, and not much of personal. And uh, yeah, so I don't know him as like personally, but he's a very great human being, a gentleman, and he takes care of all his cast and crews, you know, people working there and on set. Maybe legendary and gentleman. So that's my experience. I don't have much experience with him. Yeah, like personal experience to me because uh, you know I always try to keep distance from people. I mean, me moshe se uchi pa anam se pa. I'm not like that, so I keep distance and then Gumi Ladi Be, Lab Gumi the Lab, you know, otherwise low money me. <laughs> so I don't know much about his personal and but then professionally he's is a great gentleman and a thorough gentleman, very soft spoken, very nice to all, like I said, all cast and crews. Legion Bill man. So you have any more projects like in, in Bollywood, Latato? 
Of course, man. <laughs> my there's one release coming on twenty fifth of April. Another movie? Yeah, yeah. It's called Ruslan. I have a cameo role there. Salman Khan's brother-in-law, same guy, Ayu Sharma. So I have a cameo role there. Uh, it's releasing on 25th of April and August is shoot chie, October is shoot chie la. So I've got like two projects lined up because uh, honestly speaking, I'm not taking much projects right now. I want to focus on my business also. I've started some small business and I want to focus on that for at least mid-year. This I'm traveling a lot. I just got back day before yesterday. Whole year is travel, travel, travel and uh, kept my movies ki mal ki dates. This is after mid-year. So I have one in August and uh, one in October. La. Very good projects. Wow, with again superstars. I'm sure you can't that, talk about uh, it. I can't talk. It's okay. It's a, it's a, it's a Bollywood gay is a web series. Oh, okay. Web series, and there are eight episodes, and uh, one episode is on me. I'm the main lead. Mm. This is an interesting story. I, I don't want to give all the details, but one episode yeah. is on me, and I'm the yeah. main leading and the episode. Then I'm it's a good project Ooh. for me. And uh, second project there, I'm the one of the major character. Major character on the here. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I yeah, feel so proud of you. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure everybody around you is proud of you, but even me, somewhere from the outside, is so proud of you. No, actually, I'm very blessed because a lot of support from uh, Bhutanese people, wherever I go. There's so many people who are, you don't expect them to talk about you, you know. So like, when I meet them, older people, you know, people like civil servants, older guys, you know, and they see me, you know, our hero. So you're doing great. Keep it up. That's how you should go. It encourages me, motivates me a lot. And when I go travel outside in Nepal and India, my goodness, these people have so much support for me. The Nep wow. Nepal, the in Nepal, in Nepal, they consider me as them, you know, one of them. So it's, it's quite good. Nice. This, uh, like, yeah. So support the Ronan management and then very blessed. And that's what keeps me going. So working hard you with are, my own I physique. Think one, of the, one of the biggest, I think, uh, stars in Bhutan, I would say, in the entertainment world. No, I don't world. say stars uh, because uh, in Bhutan, no, in, I think. In, in, my opinion, in my opinion, I feel like see, because you whether, have so whether, much all your movies and you know all your future projects and all that and uh and taking time out to talk to me i just feel like so like uh so nice thank you so much Lafani. no 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 so don't say that at the end at the end of the day we are all Bhutanese, right yeah. and we know our roots isn't it no matter what we are doing where we reach at the end of the day like i said we all know our root we have only one God, one celebrity who we, who we worship, right? It's a common anime. Our inspiration, our guidance, you know, our guardian who guides us. So rest of us, are, we are all same. No matter what we become, I think we should always understand no matter how popular you are, be very humble. You know, always keep check of attitude and ego. Yes. Live with humility, I think, is very important. The moment you become famous, you have some fame, you don't act like some super hot superstar or like, you know, that will not uh, uh, keep you alive, even for a short period of time. But if you know, uh, be humble, grounded, and if we know, how to be down to earth, you know, and live with humility, I think we will uh, earn more respect. This is to all of you guys who think that you guys are popular and you guys are star. We are nothing. We are Bhutanese. We have, to know, so know, we, are, we have to know our roots. The moment yes. we get some likes on TikTok, the moment we get some like on Instagram, we think that we are now popular, we are star, we are celebrities, we tend to get some attitude in life. I think immaterial, these are all temporary, yes. nothing lasts forever. I think it's always better to own respect than to gain all this fame. So that's what I believe exactly. in. Yeah. So don't call exactly. me a star. If you call me a star, I'll call uh, you a superstar. Movie. What do you say? <laughs> movie? <laughs> 
popular movie actor. I love you. I love movie star. I love watching. Star, I love watching. Popular, very popular. Yeah. yeah, you can say that. You can say a successful actor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so despite being that and you know, for taking time, I just had to ask you one time and and you were all up for it, you know, I really appreciate it because uh, again, no offense to anyone watching, but I have reached out to quite a few people, but some people don't have the time to even, you know, uh, they're like say, okay, they are busy or whatever, say reply to me, and I just feel like I think the popularity is kind of getting to the heads in Modi. And you know, and uh, I've had some pretty amazing guests come here, talk to me, uh, Sangeet Sitem, uh, Denkar, Chozuk, Tandi Bida, you know, like, all of them took out time, Tandin Sonam, Hadoji, all of them took out time to come and talk to me. And it really means a lot to me. La. No, it means a lot to people who are it watching really also because it's good because you're talking on some subject and people want to know, people want to hear. Otherwise, I don't come live at all. See, I'm not into going live and then talking all bullshit. And I'm like, once in a while, when somebody invites <laughs> yeah, yeah. me to talk something productive, then I think I should come and then, you know, respect and honor, you know. So that's Thank the you. reason I came. And then, yeah, so that's how it is. <laughs> it yeah, is no, what it is. I'm not done. I have two more questions. I have two more Don't questions. Don't worry. Yeah, you can, can you can just... just one hour. See, it's just one hour more. It's okay. You have one more hour. Don't worry. I kept it till now. Okay, so, okay, let's, yeah. let's, so just ask whatever you want to ask, and then like, what relationship? Like, 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 uh, your relationship, like your personal relationship, lah. What do you? Your wife, your man. Ani ki kole la, your marriage ki kole. So I, 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 I fell in, I fell in love in two thousand and nine, and we are together now. It's two thousand twenty-four. We've been together for fifteen years. She's uh, one main reason I am what I am. She's my backbone. She's my biggest supporter, you know. So she's the lioness behind this lion. So <laughs> just trying to boost myself. Just... No, no, so that's no, my no, relationship. We, are, we understand each other. She's so understanding. She's so supportive. Of course, everyone is positive. More, who is not positive? But you are positive also. I know that. So that is there in relationship, but other than that, a big supporter. Yeah. Yes, 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 definitely. And I, I do know for the fact that my friend Tamara mm -hmm. really speaks highly of you and uh, uh, she really, uh, I, I know because we talk, no, la, she really, really, uh, she really loves and respects you. La. Thank you, thank you. She keeps she keeps telling me he's a uh, he's a very nice guy and he's just like you and me. <laughs> yeah, they all see. Yeah, he's a very nice, very like grounded. So you know, so it's it's nice to know It's really nice to know. Oh, people have this misconception, like I said, because of my face and because of what I am right now. They think that I'm in a ball and in Bollywood and must be having a lot of attitude and then. I'm not seen much uh, in public. I'm sure you must have realized you won't see me except in the gym. And then I don't go partying. I don't go to the bars. I have like very, very limited social life, you know? So because of that, I think a lot of people think that I have attitude because of my this intimidating face, uh, which my parents have given me. So I can't help it. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and when my friends tell me, you know, they come to me and they tell me like, uh, so I said like calm me. So they tell one name mo ani gilab dese. Konga mo shiya silab chayabi. Na idi kong mo mishebe silabi. Na shi ni tewa ya matabe silabi. Kasi pe nga attitude yu silabi na. Na shi ni kaya malab tewa ya matab. Ani attitude de nga me mo kora du me na nga labi. Ego de kora gi me me na labi because why is he saying that about me when he did like you have to deal with somebody right to know that whether the guy is guy has yeah. attitude or not but just looking just seeing me on yeah. social media and then you know just uh, and also listening to others like for example they must see you and me right so you are tamara's friend so right now tamara is saying you are a nice wonderful person i'll say okay fine there's another person will come and say, ah, Pemasi is like this, ah, Khanam Sameh, you know, Khabom Du, Ya Alap Me Mala. I'll say, okay. But at the end of the day, it's their, their, like, you know, 
is they they this is what they think about you Opinion, not yeah. me right because i might have yeah. something else when i deal yeah. with you it will be something different right so we should not uh, judge yeah. somebody based on somebody else view so that's what i wanted to say to people so if you hear something about me yeah. don't listen to them you can directly contact me you come and meet me face to face you will know that i'm a different person i'm not the person that people try to portray so and it's not important, but just telling. Please yeah. ask you to uh, give some words of inspiration uh, to all the young boys and girls out there watching, watching you, looking up to you. La. Words of That's inspiration. I think they you, must have heard these uh, words of inspiration a lot. You know, I think we don't have to. I don't have to say anything. Just listen to and go through all the speeches of His Majesty the King. I'm sure you guys will get inspired. I don't want to, you know, uh, say this separately or, you know, if you read all those speeches, take, take out some time and read His Majesty's speeches. I'm 100% sure that everybody will get inspired. And other than that, like through my own experience, I just want to say one thing that uh, we should not... Uh, waste this life we are all born with uh, talent know your talent okay you have to discover your own talent do what you love to do okay give your best and work really hard i think at the end of the day only those who work hard will get lucky okay luck matters a lot yes but if you have not worked hard like for example me i met salman khan he wanted to give me uh like a role he liked me okay let's see but if i was not a former army officer if i was not a bodybuilder okay if i didn't have all those skills what i possess right now like for example fighting skills action skills i may not do well all right so you work hard and when you get lucky you become successful so there is no shortcut everything like you know is so like at the end of the day is all about hard work and you have to focus on your goal goal is very important i think without goal you just go like haywire you know keep a goal then you will be like you know aligning yourself towards the goal you know and that's very important i think to have a goal especially when you are a young uh, like for example right now class 12 pass out graduacy so you have to have a goal in life because goal mevajin you can't uh, like I said, you know, you get lost, you get confused. So it's very important to have a goal in life, I think. Yeah, that's very important. Mm -hmm. And other than that, be what you are. You don't have to try and be somebody else. Be what you are, be pure. And uh, do not uh, demand respect, earn respect. So these are, I think, very important words, key words that we should, we should know. I'm telling all this, I'm 42 years old. I have a lot of experiences in life. So not just trying to... You know, so I'm not just saying it for the sake of saying, but I'm saying it through my experience. So, yeah, so I'm Any Nepali movie? Nepali movie, Chidi, is it? We have one. I have an oh. upcoming project. Yeah. Yes. A very good Nepali movie. Big budget. Less, less. Oh, Nam Nam Gusubinala. End of this year. Any plan to collaborate with with you? Lo, you two will be a good. Video Jamal, lamme video video. He's a he's a he's my friend. He's an actor. Video Jamal. So we did the we are about to do one project, but unfortunately I was shooting for another movie. Koita to release Jomi crack semi movie day. I was supposed to be there. We are shooting in Turkey, but then I had oh. my own other projects. I was very busy that I was doing two projects at a time, so I couldn't. So probably in future we did then me. So let's see. Yes. I have seen one Nepali Any trailer of Estes. That that is not Nepali movie. That is actually a Disney Hot web series, the freelancer semi thing. I've played uh, a character of groom that uh, in that series and a British Gurkha. So it's a, uh, it's a very good series on Disney plus Hotstar top series in number one series. 
Oh, last, last. Disney Star. Give me Disney Hotstar ya Disney Hotstar Disney Plus Hotstar se lavi so yani ki series hai that you love them na freelancers se mili yani oh oh e e last 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 okay okay yeah so any uh, new project to bhutanese movie lo chi di ye but then to be very honest lo as time me do so probably i'm shifting it to next year this year they i won't be able to shoot i'm like busy half year the mapler business and personal life no busy and then after that i've shoot so probably next year Pema si da nga be chi zo ni me movie da. Actor be. Zai. Any project on Netflix Lola? Netflix no but then I have one project in Geo Cinema. Geo Cinema. Oh last last uh, Ambani's Ambani's. I'm sure Ambani is love the jam je ha ko da Geo Cinema. Geo is she langa ki Geo they open the mall yeah. also no? What experience do you have in developing accents for specific roles, Lola? Uh, accents, uh, I try to do like, you know, try to natural accent, Ngaragi accent. I don't try to, you know, uh, make accents. So Ngaragi ka yumidit baby, now I've improved in Hindi also because Hemadi nga Hindi ka majava gap riyumbe luni digi around 15 years that you luni digi. So accent leji me thema dova. But now my India my accent is much better. Like in Jawan is better, right? And freelancer are much better. So yes. uh cool actor in Bhutan. Thank you. Like LinkedIn so much. much. No. Twenty seventeen bodybuilding uh, incident. How many years did I serve in army? I served eight years. Eight years. 2017 bodybuilding incident yeah that was a uh, dark phase of my life past it and then i am what i am because of that incident so nothing much to yes. see about that incident everything happens for a reason what about hollywood law hollywood who is owner of shangri la uh, hollywood the it's a dream obviously karagi dream i'll be happy you know and then Mapa, what to say? The Hollywood, Karagi, ultimate dream, the Hollywood dream, more the more. So watching the guy. Series that's upcoming, now your upcoming series, the lab. Disney Hotstar, you, it's called, it's called, it's called the Freelancer. So you all can see long. I did the Disney Hotstar, and it's a jump to shit. How do I do it? The pirated this thing, I should miss it. Any project on South, uh, South Indian movie? South Indian, I did one movie. La, Such called, a great uh, person in and out. Agent. Agent, agent, I did la movie. Agent, submitted. after that, I haven't <laughs> done any South movies. Now it's like I'm being very, very careful with selecting my movies. Because 22 to 23, I did a lot of movies, la, to be very honest. I yeah. did about five projects. So now I'm trying to do like one or two projects in a year, very good quality projects. Nice, nice. One, two lines from freelancer law. Uh, freelancer, okay. Both are agar hoga. You all not understand that. I'm going to pick up beneath the lines more. Dialogue club, lo. Then I don't know. So from where to pick up? Our star will really fit with Alu Arjun movie. So any plan or project with him? Who is Alu Arjun? Alu Arjun, the Pushpa ye actor, the love man. Oh, oh, last, last, last. Teri chalaki sharafi se ano jo mis. Tandin sa nam gida dialogue lo. Can you share one between you and your dog? Nam malap mo si nam hmm sa mga na. Tandin sa nam gida dialogue. Are you not participating in body bodybuilding competition, Lola? You... 
you i've already you, given up bodybuilding be because body... no 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 ways because see bodybuilding is one sports where you have to dedicate everything you cannot do uh, that's the reason i resigned okay because bodybuilding job go bachin you can't just do there go and build your body and compete if i compete i have to win right so i cannot focus on anything else other than bodybuilding so 5 years of bodybuilding is enough for me and then i cannot go back to bodybuilding because now i have like other you know obligations yeah other problems and also i'm old now so i'm 42 as you get older your body also deteriorates so yeah and we i need to is the most challenging thing for you to film and how did you prepare for it my most challenging uh i think uh, scene was in jawan the train scene bloody one ad ni ni sumsugi chigi anebe belo chigi anebe belo director gi anebe belo so you know confuse me it's like mm. uh, shahrukh khan is an old man is standing there you know then i'm telling them you know are you kya kar rahe uncle ja ke wapas baith jao se lab mein hote and one is saying that he's old man he's an old man so you should not shout and then you shouldn't get angry lo tele chigi lab mein shout lo se bahana le na confused the right let me do my own things i love it after some time you know so that was kind of like mapal na shahrukh sir now gonga lo de no sir kuncha jab ye gana confused ho ja bhai Sachi, Sachi, I'll tell you a funny incident in that thing, okay? In that scene, in that Jawan ki scene, that train scene. So we have Ngachi ki that train na lumi kati chhi do the, ani junior artist. Me hundreds de chhi do me bolo ka tumka. So I am supposed to deliver that. Tell it chhi ki na lab, chhi ki pa lab. Sharuk sir na donga hi mush. Like kya kar rahe hain uncle? Ja ke wapas baat ja. Salam aur dena ki, you know? Arey lag jayega aapko. Kya kar rahe hain uncle? Salam aur de. Koi yenga nervous ho jayega dialogue jay be be. कच्चे मालवा बुड्डे लो से आको लो एवरीबॉडी लव्ड इट अरे क्या कर रहे बुड्डे से लव को रहे आई खोलो तो कच्चे मालवा डायलॉग थेन मातु से स्टक है ऐसी से डायरेक्ट बुड्डे से एवरीबॉडी लव्ड इट शरू सरे गाली फनी इंसिडेंट है Not and this eighties, no irritating. They everybody is giving their Not own anise. Eighties, so many jina chido. Chigi home will love me. Why chuda? Why majab si? Don't shout, no. That is an old man. I mean, usually you don't shout, no, to an old man. You have to say nicely, lo si. Arey uncle, kya kar rahe? Ja ke wapas bed jana si. I said, how will I get emotion? Yeah, I'm carrying a gun here, you know. That the situation is like I'm trying to save somebody. <laughs> There's all like militants in the front. I said, how am I supposed to say? Arey uncle, ja ke bed jana si. You know. So I was having this argument with the eighties. Suddenly, Sharuk sir came and we started the scene. Ah, bude, look at him. No dialogue. There. Dialogue. Who is that guy? Did you see that guy? Sharuk Khan. Does he help yeah, you? Yeah, he's guide? so nice. He he really guides us. Yeah, who love me? Ruhani be be, Ruhani be be. You know, don't worry. So, no, no, legend be me. He's very nice. Who is that guy? What biggest sacrifice did you make in your life so far, Lalo? My biggest sacrifice was uh, taking off my uniform. There. I grew up uh, you know my ambition in life was to become an officer army officer so that's the saddest part uh, the the September no when I had to remove my uniform and then know deep inside me that I'm never going to wear this again and look at the mirror and I know that I never going to wear it again so that's why like time to time uh, police ki rolls me down so that I can wear the uniform in the hey. yeah hey, I never thought that he's that much jolly lo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying to everybody thinks that this intimidating look serious guy man with a lot of attitude. So this is what people think about me so what to do to, that's how I'm born. Mm. Are there any mm. actors you particularly admire or draw inspiration from lo? Uh not particularly to be very honest like I'm not a I'm not an actually Ngarthan Lawajinga. I'm not somebody who wants to become an actor. See, <laughs> to be very honest, I'm just doing it because, like, see, uh, luck give that the offer is coming to me, right? Everything is coming to me. That's why I'm like capitalizing at it, doing it. But actually, I'm not somebody who wants to be an actor. To be very honest, so like What I said, like my inspiration. Like? 
I just want to serve my king and the country. I just my inspiration is His Majesty. So whatever He does right now for the country, we all know, right? Karim Chizet never. Deep inside, yes, it's like yes, yes. we have that pain. There's so much pain in us that we are not being able to do anything. You know. So I mean. Yes, sir. And everybody told me that why did you resign from the army? You know, it's not nice to resign. So I say, if I didn't resign, who will be the first? gold medalist i had a dream to become the first gold medalist in asian level and i had that dream too because that's also like serving your country right even right now i'm, I'm an actor i'm representing my country in my in international platform when media is like ndtv times of india they cover story on me they write bhutan actor you know an actor from bhutan so Labdalo, i feel proud you know at least i'm representing my country in a very good way in a positive way in outside world right it's not like yes, Bhutan, sir. it's not like Bhutan, uh, man, like uh, a man from Bhutan is arrested carrying drugs. Remember what? You know, a man of Bhutan is one of the, playing a very major character in a uh, blockbuster movie, Jawan Siddhuvat, and he's a real Jawan. Say. So that way, like, I feel like wow, I'm doing yes, a part. I see Chiberu contribution to the country, you know, so as a like Chungu Chiberu. So I feel proud you know at least and the best way is in life you know so i need some how do you manage time low so regarding i wanted to speak uh, you know i wanted to address in this topic time time management which is very very important I, i'm sure like pema c you also need to listen to this because you come to the gym right and as a family uh, you have a family you know a mother you know very well like how to manage time so what happens is a lot of us we say we don't have time not time me do not busy not busy i mean this is a common word that comes from a lot of people but real busy i mean this is not busy you know busiest man also will always try to manage time like for example you must have thought like i'm a busy man right yes or no yes, you see yes. i have two hours here with you you know how because like we need to know how to manage time like I always tell people, my friends, right? Hit the gym, work out, take care of your health. Time me thove salami. Kachigi time me thove salami. 24 hours nale, one hour minus beta alabi. If you are waking up at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, wake up at 6 o'clock. And then one hour dedicated to yourself, your health. Come on, I said. You know, you can go partying for two, three hours, four hours, whole midnight, spend a lot of money on alcohol. You know, but you don't want to spend little money and you know, manage one hour for your own health. I feel amazed. I'm telling you honestly. You know, why? Forget about any other thing. Rangi denu time kachibi matopmo. But ranlo ham beni ki denu time namse me do. Tirue do. Tiboda gym joni ki tiru me do time me do. Gym nalo ta for example, my rate is let's say right now it's discounted sixteen thousand five hundred a year. Same gym in India will cost like forty five thousand a year. I give that offer, right? Discount offer, so that they yeah. can come and work out. And now they come and they say, oh, discount in now say, it's already discounted, Lavina. It's hard to come on. They are charu ki dinlu, they are achi chibero. So even one thousand, they want discount, you know. So I tell them, why those sell Lavimo? Chincha chup chiru party jo me Lavie. Party na lo chanchi damchi drinks on me sell up chhi ten thousand they just pick time me Lavie saachi na. Aja passa zo, tiga pum charin dis bolo kala yubi kala chincha chup pa drinks on me say ani be chime na. You know, and for your own say one thousand ye dinlu chhi na lo kachhi be discount le mo sell Lavie maaye. Don't do like that, Lavie. Come on, think nicely. I said, right now you invest in your body. I invested a lot of money in my body during my bodybuilding days. Now I'm getting repaid by it, right? Return yes, of yes, investment. Yes. Let's do what the ROI, return of investment, because I invest oh my in my body and the returns are good now. I'm making money from my body, right? So if you can invest, health is very important. Health is very, very important. Right now in the country, maximum expenditure got him. Hospital name. Why? It's all because of lifestyle disease. What is lifestyle disease? Lifestyle disease is the kind of disease that you put in yourself because of your lifestyle so ani di neji di ngachare ki ngachare na na chup me diet disu ka athob sa you know fat disu sa carbs nam se me sa blood pressure high ju obesity ho osteoporosis bone disease so these are all we are putting it in ourselves so now 
Eighty percent of the people visiting hospital, eighty percent are because of lifestyle disease. They want to take medicine for pressure. Go for a walk, do some physical exercise. Your pressure will go down, you know. And what happens? You save money, right? Whose money? The country's money, government's money. So if we can, if we all can contribute towards taking care of yourself, huh? not others. If we can take care of ourselves, we save a lot of country money from the health sector. And what happens if you if you have like some uh, uh, non-communicable disease, like you have diabetes, you have pressure, serious pressure. Some people get stroke, right? They get stroke, right? Because of yeah. the cholesterol is high. Yeah. Then what happens? They get paralyzed. Then what happens when they get paralyzed? Who has to take care of them? Your family members, right? They're, one person has to dedicate their khato, jini, denlu. When will he recover? Can't, you know, trying to do a physiotherapy, have to take for physiotherapy. Kadimji time spent be gobe. Tangachigi, coming to this world, if we cannot take care of ourselves and be a burden to your family and to your country, just imagine it's a great loss. You're wasting our life. So please, please, please invest on health, your own self. Don't take life easily. We tend to take life so easy. We all think that we are immortals. But when it hits you, it's so, so sad. You won't know. You won't get time to recover. You won't get time to treat yourself. I'm telling you through experience. I've seen a lot of my close ones die in front of me with cancer. You yeah. know, with chronic liver disease. Life they enjoy bigger, but you should understand we are all human beings. We are not made of machines. We have to take care of ourselves, take care of your health. Fitness semi fashion men. Fitness the Rangi Tinlui. Rangi Ran Danzi Matawachin. Rugi the Ran Danzitara Misop. So it's very, very important. So please take your life very seriously. I nearly forgot. Thank you. Thank you so much. La. Even I'm so motivated. La. Yeah, that's why you didn't come to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I work out at home. La. I'm working out at home. La. Like I said, like the rotai matho was. No, but you should, yeah, you should work out. I'll yes, yes, yes. Even if it is at home, it's also okay. So it's not necessary. You have to go to the gym. Yeah? Do something. That's so much like one hour of your time on YouTube. Search HIIT home workout. Watch on YouTube and do it. You don't even have to spend money. Instead of like we are, I can see a lot of people going live and doing a lot of challenges and spending hours and hours and there are 1,000 viewers, 500 viewers. So if you can watch those, I'm sure you can go on YouTube. Every day you'll get different kind of exercises and then do that at home. That will, every exercise will add one hour to your life. Just imagine. Every exercise in a day will add one hour in your life. So take this very seriously. We all want to live long, right? Nobody wants to die. Thank you so much for you. And by the way, I would also like to mention, La, uh, mm. of all the gyms that I've gone to, like mm -hmm. I don't stick to one. Of all the gyms I used, to, I enjoyed your gym, Timpu Muscle Factory, with all your equipment, everything. And also because because my friend was my trainer i really enjoyed and i lost quite a lot of weight Ima, last year i lost because, and i was uh, so fit i kept nani this way ta. i used to keep getting any yeah i really enjoyed that it was so good my my, my gym you know because uh, i myself is experienced in that field so in 2015 there are so many equipments that i wanted to work out on for myself you know so nagi gym na so specifically i chose those machines which is very effective and which is not available here in the country. So Anizum machines did, that's why like, because it's my choice see, through my experience. That's why I have like all the equipment and a lot of cardio machines and all. And the rates are like nothing. Yeah, It's just like, I know some people will say it's yeah, quite a lot, so, but if you like, divide it, because the, 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 the kind of lifestyle we lead, no, the kind of lifestyle we lead and the kind of like phones we carry and then the, the, the uh, nightlife and all, I think our gym is nothing actually. Gym is nothing, I think. How to kill boredom about gym law? Most quit gym due to. So, in the gym, you should always have a goal, have a target, set target. Let's say, like in a month, you're going to lose one kg or two kg. And you should always take picture every Monday 
and see the difference that will motivate you that's the charm of the gym thank you la my i i also i also love this short hair not this one but the shorter one but unfortunately i have to now get ready for my role in august so if i keep keeping it short then my producer will uh, kick me out of the role so i have now started growing again what's the most physically demanding scene or stunt you have ever done though? there was one scene where i'm supposed to you you must have seen rade nalu i'm kicked out of the helicopter so analu yeah. we had we had this all this rope this gara duba dunidi you know everything is there safety mm-hmm. so ki bada yel mane shurdam ya yel mawe i supposed to fall down no so yel ma shurda beuji tik ti ma hipchi kun rope stop beisi beuji na gutoma ne tang tam ji of course there is a mat analu tang da duisi so that was the most challenging as a guto nadding did i was quite scared to run a concussion and me thobo sino de hebnalu yemna Oh. so there are like azira azira do danger danger beams and singe shoot be odalo i you know like in a middle of reach rod and teta middle of reach the like back this gara toy singe movie no because i had no idea about stunts and all those days so yeah Which actress do you want to work with both i have no particular choice because anyone will do i just want a good actor who fits in the role which is good cardio exercise versus running because i prefer only running your running is good but you have to be very careful because when you run too much after some time you'll have this uh, running knee ajigi knee joint the nalu ajigi effect be so i would recommend you to do brisk walking go all incline uphill instead of running your running brother lu shile old joda lu ani joint weak joy so be very careful joint okay So Jordan I don't know whether you are a, a real person or anonymous here but I want to answer your question why did you cry during your last Mr Butando So we all sometimes we cry when we are so happy sometimes we cry when we are emotional right sometimes you cry uh, when you be very successful and when you win something sometimes you cry when your things your plans everything your sacrifices your hard work it does not go as planned So yeah that's the reason I cried when I won the gold medal in Asian Championship 2016 and it's not Mr Bhutan and I cried uh, when I lost during uh, 2017 World Championships because World Championship was my last championship and uh, I gave my word to all my family my friends that it's going to be my last championship and I prepared so hard I sacrificed a lot but it didn't go as planned so because of that I became very emotional like I said you might see me as a very intimidating a dangerous guy you know a huge guy but deep inside i'm also a human being our soul is all same you know so emotionally i'm a very emotional person so i was emotionally very affected so that's the reason spur of the moment i cried so that's the answer for your question we all a human being right it's not like men do not cry men cry a lot you don't know wow ni chhar de so na girlfriend ki na break time se lab ni chhar de so na sam nguni जब मैंने आपका चेहरा देखा तो मुझे एक गाँव में बसे एक मासिया की याद दिला दी विक्रम राठौर हाँ बस वही नाम सुना था विक्रम राठौर <laughs> बिखरे हुए टुकड़े को जोड़ते हुए मैं आए में पहुंचा वहा छह लोग और थे जिनके हाथ पे एक खास टैटू था लॉन्ग डायलॉग है रियल एक्टर 
Not just life, no ups and downs. Kaya is. You don't think that I'm always motivated. I'm always happy. A lot of things happening in my life. Deve mano. Not just kaya lo problem yeh life na lo. Pass easy be. You know, we all go ups and downs. It's just that you have to understand that we do not show everything outside. Okay. Since you mean I problem la, she not just kaya lo yeh problem. Family problem yeh. Tle grana si personal life ki problem yeh. Career ki problem. Kaya lo problem diyon si. So don't think that uh, I'm always happy. So yeah, so what I do is, when I have problems in life, you know, when I get too stressed out, all I think is, everything is a phase in life. You have to pass that, right? So deep inside, you have to think. One thing that you have to know is that you have to thank God that you are alive right now. You have two hands, two feet. You know that whatever problem comes, we can solve it. Say, I need to know more about it. Now, if I'm like handicapped, love me, come me, but I can't do anything, right? Problem more, more. So deep inside, no matter, kadem chi problem more, kadem chi more is not end of the day. I mean, like we are not dying right now. We are alive. We have two hands, two feet, and problem life na kachi zo more, ma pule resolve peso. Bera a peso bani the. Anther bari. So I keep motivated like that. I keep myself motivated like that. So that's the only way. Otherwise, life no problem. Carry with ups and downs. Carry with. Rest. Everything is a bonus, Lobate. We are given this life. Everything else is a bonus. Yeah, you just like every day when you wake up. I think we have to thank God for you know keeping us alive for this life. There's so many things that we can do in life. Nobody is born rich or poor. You know, everybody is born in the same way. And then whether you become rich. Or whether you become poor, everything is in your hands. I think, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Thunder jaw me jong. Adi thunder jaw jaw na ba paro ye. Five o'clock in the morning, because I've missed uh, thunder for almost three years. Where well, I'm born here, I'm like I'm a, my dad is from Paro, no. And then ngal chungku galera ngay agi inga paro situ jaw kini ba. And I watch all the chums and especially thunder and Miss Benira me. But unfortunately, after COVID. A few years for the situation, so Dele. After that, two years continuously, I was shooting, and one I was in an event, so I missed two years. Now it's the third year, so this year thing I catch a plan, my boy. So thunder the jela, a genius love. But today I came to Paro because of that reason. Yeah. Last, last. Do you pray, Lalo? I pray before I sleep. Is there in my one of my YouTube Gyan Lalo ni a day in the life? I always pray before I sleep. Always. Tasho, aside from all the comments, I just want to say you are handsome, Lalo Zee. I need to, I need to show you that. Kare inga don rusi do se lap mesa. Everybody calls me I'm a, I'm a like real villain. Even like a hero be masi se lap mero. You know audience ki villain be si lo. Hero be masi se lap me. Is script of Bollywood in English or Hindi language, Lalo? It comes in. It's come in Roman, Roman English. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Roman Hindi, which is like English letter nalo, but Hindi dialogues. Yeah. Take my question. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Lo? Jimmy Nobu is asking. Superpower, what would it be and why? So, yeah. If I have superpower, I'll just make mega city right now. <laughs> because that is the most important, you know, project for our country. Right now, please share some motivation for youth who are in indulging in substance abuse. The happiness center is asking them. Well, uh, I always say that uh, we are gifted. There are so many animals, so sad, who do not even have the rights to live. The animals we kill and eat, right? The freedom do. We are given opportunity to live, so why do you want to waste that special life that is given to you, the gift, gift of life? You know. So I just want to say that, don't be too selfish. Don't be selfish. Selfish, yeah, I You know. Honestly speaking, we always say like excuses. parents divorce, you need to life on every bini These are all excuses. Don't be selfish. Think about your parents. Kadim chi same shoe. You know. Rangi zukhale ki, thentem ki, rangi pacha, rangi alu. 
Anizu Mib Jodalu. You know? So think about them. Think about the country. Think about His Majesty the King. Kadimchi Zede Majigitendo. Kadimchi Zede Lagoto. So I, I don't want to like, you know, give too much of elaborating advices to you guys. So just think about your parents and think about His Majesty the King, how much he's doing for us. And don't be selfish. Take your imagine more slowly, slowly. If you are like so now addicted, Karalu, you 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 seek advice from the professionals. We have counselors. We have a lot of centers right now. So you have to help yourself. Nobody can catch you and then force you to be and go into the rehab, right? That you have to take this initiative yourself. If you are not ready then nobody can change you. All these advices and all, so no use. I know so many in my family members who's been like addicted, who've been alcoholic, you know, and they've changed, they've transformed. And why? Only because of themselves and nobody else. We can just say anything we want from here. But at the end of the day, it's you who can deal with yourself. If you can get into that shit, only you can come out of that shit. Yes. Hola, thank you so much, Sanju. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, you're no, a very no, wise young you. man. Don't, don't, don't say thank no, you. No, I, I really, I really loved you. all your advices that you know you've given. Um, very inspiring, and thank you, la. Thank you, very wise young man, Imela. Wise old man, should, remember, wise young. Man. Don't say young man, yeah, because I'm like uncle now. So like, as wise I'm 40, uncle. Forty-two years old, and I'm getting older, but always young at heart and still very energetic and still will work really hard right now also i'll not miss my gym because see at the end of the day i have to represent my country you know bhutan ka actor bhutani actors you know so when they say bhutani actor it's not me right it's the whole country so i'll work really hard and i'm this year and i've got very good roles i'm sure like uh, all my supporters will be proud of me and I really, really want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank all the supporters, not just from Bhutan, but from Nepal, from India. You know, they have been like very supportive. And then I feel so nice when I meet them. They say like, you are part of us. So they don't differentiate like Bhutan or Nepal or India. So I'm really, really grateful to them. And uh, Pemasi, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity where I could share my views and you know and on the subject also you know about health and giving me this opportunity to <clears throat> speak to the audience and thank you very much otherwise this all this knowledge keeping it with myself is of no use of course when i meet them in person i do tell them i advise them but every day i can't give all these kind of advices you know but through my experience if it can help <clears throat> even one single person i think i've achieved my goals you know so thank you very much and nice. thank you all the audiences <clears throat> thank you very much for the love and support and take care of yourself like i said <clears throat> the only place you have to live in is your body so take care of your body if you are fit if you are health if you, if you are healthy if you are fit you'll be physically healthy you'll be mentally healthy and that's the only way you can help others and you can serve your country you can serve your parents your relatives only if you are healthy so please remember that so please 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 take care of yourself dedicate one hour from your 24 hours ki schedule nale one hour be mitchari ki physical fitness ki then dedicate bena session nahi la that's all nothing else thank you la thank you thank you so much for your amazing words of wisdom we wish you all the very best may you soar even higher and may you continue making all of us Bhutanese and our country proud. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pemasi. Take care and see you soon. See you in the gym, Lasha. hopefully. Yes, sir. thank you.